Hello, so I move into my first apartment tomorrow. Wait, no I don't. I drive up to Fort Collins tomorrow and I will move in the next day. So this is going to be the start of my big move-in vlog. So I thought I'd just start off and kind of show you guys the status of my packing right now. So basically I'm starting to stage stuff out here in the living room. Uh, this is what I've got so far, plus another pillow, some of my studio lights and stuff, and a big duffel. Yeah, so that is what packing looks like right now. The status of my room, on the other hand, is quite another story. It is quite the disaster in here. And there's a cat. Hey, Comet. And you are probably wondering, Zoe, why did you wait until the very last day to do all of your packing? Well, um, about a week ago, last Friday, I got very sick with the flu, probably. And I did not get out of bed for like two whole days. Those were completely wasted. And then I just felt so bad and could not get much done at all. But finally today and yesterday, well, but I am finally feeling better so I can finally pack. Usually I'm way on top of things and I start packing like a week ahead and I feel totally prepared, but now I feel like my life is just a mess. I'm also missing a bunch of things. I'm missing a sock. I'm missing one of my external hard drives. I'm also missing my little like mini tripod for this camera. I'm missing some body wash. I'll update you guys later if I find those. I just thought I'd uh, update you guys a little bit and share some of the stress of my life right now with you. A lot to do this afternoon, so let's do it. Quick update, I have found my external hard drive and my little tripod. Okay, so it's much later now. It's like 4.30ish and here's the current status. We're putting stuff into our car here. So I still have these things here that need to go in. Uh, this is what the car looks like right now. I have these drawers, those drawers, and the duffel, and a dolly to help. Next, I need to put my bike in, so I think we're gonna take the wheel off and try to put it in here somehow. the current status of the car. We'll have two people up there, one person here. I don't think it looks too bad. Sorry, it was very windy. So I came into the car. I think we're not doing too bad. I don't want to block any room out the back window, which we're not doing, so that's good. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and I will update you guys as things happen and when we drive up tomorrow and then when we move in. Okay, it's the next day now and we have our big drive to Fort Collins today. My room is looking much better than it was. Um, all I have left to take is my plant and my camera bag for the camera I'm currently holding. And yeah, oh, and my chargers and my phone. Don't forget that. Also, I realized I didn't really explain to you guys what I'm doing. So basically, since I was studying abroad all last semester with Semester at Sea, I need some place to live for second semester, but most leases for apartments and stuff are year long. So what I'm doing is I'm taking over someone's lease who graduated in December and needed someone to just like fill their room pretty much for the rest of the year. So I'll be living in a three bedroom apartment and I don't know who my two other roommates are yet. Like I know their names, but that's about it. So I will meet them on Friday when I move in and yeah. All right, today probably won't be very interesting because it'll just be a long drive, uh, but it is 7.50 a.m. right now and we hope to get to Fort Collins by 
5.30 or 6, have dinner there, uh, spend the night in a hotel, and then the whole next day will be my moving in process. Bye, Comet. Bye, Rosie. Here's the car. We just have to add one more suitcase and a cooler right there. And then we're off. Okay, we're headed to our apartment now. All of my stuff is in the back of the car here. It's very cold in this car. So I'm excited to move in. We'll be there in probably like five, 10 minutes. So yeah, I'll go check into the apartment, get my keys and stuff, go see what the apartment looks like and meet my roommates, move all of this stuff in. And then we'll probably have some errands to run to go get food and things that I need for the apartment that I find out that I need when I get there, so we'll figure that out. So today we'll just be moving in and errands. Here we go. Looks pretty nice. Big closet. status of the room. How's it going over here? <laughs> Wait, what are you taking? Chocolate? No! <laughs> here we go. Nothing is organized yet. I just kind of threw everything everywhere. So we'll work on organizing. I have a few days to do that. Yeah, but it's it's coming along. So, um, yeah, I'll show you. This is kind of my apartment. Uh, this is the living room, TV here. This is the dining room and kitchen over here. I just went to the store. Wait, where's the light? Is this light? Okay. I just went to the store. We got a microwave and some food in here. Yeah. Might need some more food. And then we have a bathroom over here. I'll do a whole apartment tour at some point, but I'm just showing you around a little bit now. Here we go. This is my room. So I'm currently still unpacking everything. It doesn't look too bad until you look at the desk and I just kind of put everything on the desk. So I'm gonna go through all of this now, put it all where it needs to be, and then we'll be more settled.
Hey guys, so I'm pretty much all moved in now. Um, this is what my room looks like. I love my map here with all of the signatures from Semester at Sea. Uh, desk and bed, tapestry from Senegal. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my move-in process. Uh, if you want to see a tour of my apartment or something, just let me know and comment down below. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.